Hello and welcome to another GT tutorial. This time we're going to talk about the coherent GT binding, or simply how to send data from the game engine to the user interface. Now to get a better idea of what I'm talking about, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly play the sample that we have prepared. Now this is the standard Unreal FPS sample, of course we've made some modifications to it. Uh, we have our GT HUD, and as you can see, we have an ammo bar and a health bar. So whenever I shoot a projectile, my ammo counter goes down, and whenever I get hit by one, my health goes down as well. Now we're not going to go through uh, the uh, game logic in detail, uh, we are going to focus on the binding part. So let's go ahead and look at some of the blueprints. Okay, so let's open up the GT Game Hub blueprint, and the uh, first person character blueprint. Now as you've seen we have uh, an ammo and a health bar um, which we'll be changing according to our counters. Um, so for this we'll need um, two uh, uh, custom events. So I've created the one for the ammo and I'm just going to do the same for the health. So let's add a custom event. I'm going to name it change health. Okay so we need to create an integer variable in it which we'll call current. Okay, so let's drag a trigger JavaScript event from it. And we need another integer variable here as well. Okay, so let's connect the uh, two variables. And one more thing we need is the query GT component. Now as you can see uh, in the ammo part, um, the event name is called change ammo JS, and we'll have the same thing for the health, but changed accordingly, so it will be called change health JS. Okay, so whenever these two events are triggered, uh, the corresponding JavaScript functions need to be called as well, uh, just because the uh, actual change in the user interface comes from the JavaScript. Um, so let's go to the uh, content folder and UI resources. Uh, now I didn't mention but the uh, content for this video will be available for download so you'll be able to um, modify it if you like. Um, now go to the game.js file. Now this is where we have the update health and the update ammo functions. So what we need to do is connect these two events, the change ammo and change health JS, to uh, these two functions in the JavaScript. In order to do that, we're going to use a special JavaScript object called engine. And the method on will actually allow uh, for the, uh, it, it will bind the uh, event to a JavaScript handler. Okay, so we need the um, change health JS event to call the update health method. Okay, we need the same thing for the ammo, but this time uh, the event will be called change ammo JS and the function will be update ammo. Okay, now uh, we have the um, the events in our, in our blueprint and the uh, JavaScript functions linked. So whenever these two uh, events are triggered, the uh, JavaScript functions will be called. Okay, so we need to actually um, trigger these events. So in order to do that, we first go to the spawn projectile part. And if you go to the end, this is where we are setting the, uh, the ammo counter to go down by one each time we shoot a projectile. So we need to throw a cast from it. Okay, we can create a cast to the GT Gamepad blueprint from the object we are creating a get hud node. Okay, and we need one more get player controller node. And we need to trigger the uh, change ammo event.
Okay, and there's one more last thing we need is the current amount of ammo that we have. Okay, so let's see if we have set up everything properly. Now, as you can see, the ammo bar is going down, so that means everything is working just fine. Okay, now we need to do the very same thing for the health as well. Now, in this junk, we're actually, uh, this is where we're handling whenever we get hit by a projectile. Uh, we're at setting the uh, health to go down by 5 each time we get hit. So, just after that, we are creating a cast as well to the GT Gamepad Blueprint. But this time we'll be triggering the change health event. Okay, and we need to get the uh, current health as well. Okay, so let's compile and see if this will work. Now our health bar is going down. So this means that everything is set up properly. So this is pretty much it for this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and thank you for watching.